Uh, well, there's a lot of chess games out there where you can play against the computer, the computer replies, and you move the own piece with your own hand. So this is for the more advanced player who wants to actually feel like they're having a real opponent in front of them. So all they have to do is hook it up to their computer, start the chess engine, and they get to play against the robotic arm. And there's a lot of other additions that could be added on where you can be voice activated or wireless where you don't even have to be in the same room and you don't even need to use your own hands to a certain extent for whatever recommend whatever requirements that you need for your, your chess game. Sure, so make a move. That'll be my move as the player. And then the computer will read that that was my move and he'll want to make his own move. So the computer's going to go through right now and he's going to think of what move he chooses to do to try to beat me as a player. So he looks like he's going for the horse right now. He's going to pick up the horse and he has obviously two options. He can either bring it here or bring it here, which is a chess game because that's the only option as a legal move. He's deciding to take it to that one right there. So he's going to make place it down. And now the computer has completed its move. So now me as the player, it's my turn again. You keep going back and forth until you've completed the game. And then the winner, I guess, takes the crown for the end of the night. Do you see uh, this being commercially viable at all? In this I aspect, personally. no, but since it's, it is a robotic arm, it can be applied to many different fields, like manufacturing industry, stuff like that. So in this particular sense, maybe not, but the concepts used in this can be applied to many different things. Mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, computer engineering. So yeah, the possibilities are endless, basically, for it.